Hello everyone, today I'm going to do a video on the Platform Secret Screen, which is a nifty little screen built into the Roku, but hidden from the user, uh, primarily because of its uh, support uh, powers. So, instead of trying to describe it to you here, I'm just going to show you how to get to it and uh, what its functions are. It's pretty cool. So, first thing you need to do is hit your home button five times, or five, fast forward, pause, rewind, pause, re fast forward. So five times on the on the home button, uh, fast forward, pause, rewind, pause, fast forward, and you get to this screen. Okay, and I'm going to put that in the description and probably annotate the video as well. And as you can see, it shows you the temperature of your unit, uh, the IP address of your uh, uh, unit, of your Roku, and as well as the SSID of the router that you're connected to, the Wi-Fi channel, the noise, the uh, uh, RSSI, which is the, the actual strength of your uh, signal. And usually the lower that number, the better. Your signal to noise ratio, and as you can see, I'm in the green. Uh, OZW PAN uh, version is pertaining to your USB port. Um, so it's not really all that uh, important. The active remote is zero, and zero not being none, but actually the number of the remote is zero and as you can see in the asterisk below it says remote zero and that gives the MAC address of it it also tells you the version number of the firmware that the remote is currently running the battery strength and uh, uh, that it's asleep okay so uh, basically it's asleep because I haven't touched the button so if I press up or down you see that it goes from back to active okay so um, first thing on the menu by going up on your remote you'll see system reboot well we know what that does reboots the uh, system or the Roku uh, here you have disable network uh, pings or enable network pings and what that does is it either tells the Roku to respond to a ping request or not to uh, it's up to you what you set that to the default is, uh, is uh, enable uh, network pings which means that it will receive pings and return them okay uh, not sure which setting does what, but just leave it on the default. It doesn't really matter. Uh, then you have the Wi-Fi remote menu, which is a pretty neat one. We're going to hit that. And you get a sub-menu of the Wi-Fi remote menu, okay? So you got Wi-Fi remote OTA update. Well, what does OTA mean? Over-the-air update. So uh, what this does is it allows you to update your firmware. We're going to click on that. And as I know that I already have the latest version, 192, I don't need to do any updates. Now, hot off the presses is usually a beta release, so I wouldn't suggest that you update this at all. In fact, if your remote is working just fine, I wouldn't fool around with this at all. Okay? Now, the other thing I need to warn you all about as a caveat, I'm not responsible for anything you get into that uh, messes up your Roku here. This is strictly just for information purposes. Okay? So... Let's go down to the Wi-Fi secret screen, which is another neat screen. And here you'll see uh, a more in-depth uh, view of what you already saw, uh, which is, you know, your Wi-Fi uh, strength in the, the uh, data from it, as well as, you know, the error counts and so on. Uh, then you have all these up here, which are performance tests. Run the, it's called IP uh, ERF or iPerf. Uh, and this is a performance test that, uh, you know, they may run, but, per, you know, I'm not going to get into configuring this or running it. It's, uh, you know, beyond the scope of this video. And let's go to, uh, you know, to the last one here, turn Wi-Fi interference mitigation off. Well, you know, Roku support may ask you to turn this on or off, but, you know, if I were you, don't play with it. Just leave it the way it is. Just, just use the screen. The primary reason to use this screen, I think, is to optimize your... Uh, Wi-Fi performance which I have a video on as well and uh, I will reference that as well in this uh, in the description so let's get to hit the back button and then we're back to the original Wi-Fi screen and to get back to the home screen just hit the back button or the home button again and it will take you out of here as well uh, nice features on the screen Number one, the temperature uh, up there is 62 Celsius. Now remember that's Celsius, not Fahrenheit. So there's a difference. It's 62 Celsius is a lot hotter than 62 Fahrenheit. Um, now, also the other neat thing is uh, the battery here. Uh, you've got two 1.5 volt batteries in your remote. 
so they should add up to three volts uh, if they're fully charged I mean take a look at your batteries to make sure they're 1.5 uh, some rechargeables are 1.2 so you know judge it by that and other than that it's just a cool screen so this is a platform screen and uh, to go home just hit the home button and you're home um, hopefully you enjoyed that video and it helped you out in some way thanks for watching and we'll see you again that's it for my video thank you very much for watching uh, if you like this video and it helped you out in some way do me a favor click on the like button right down here and uh, you know if you wish to subscribe to my channel just click on this link up here and that should subscribe you to the, the uh, Richard Lloyd channel or Richard Lloyd USA channel um, okay again thank you very much for your time and watching